You've heard this discussion before. A discussion where we look at the upcoming anime season's lineup, and someone complains saying, There's way too many anime sequels! But then you also get announcements for sequels to older anime, or anime that deserves a sequel, and everyone cheers. We also get announcements on manga that deserve an anime and finally become one. Then you have your reboots, anime films, OVAs, whatever this is. And Donghua, aka Chinese cartoons. I've been watching the latest episode to a plethora of seasonal anime since the summer of 2014. I became so invested in keeping up with the latest anime and discussing what could possibly be the next big thing, that I reviewed every episode of whatever anime I was watching multiple times throughout the week. And it did this for two years. Even though I was exhausted from reviewing a ton of series weekly, that didn't mean I was tired of watching seasonal anime. Well until today. Throughout my years of watching seasonal anime, there has always been a pattern. Winter is usually calm, but you may find a few anime that are anime of the year worthy. Spring is always a mixed bag. Could have lots of sequels, tons of ecchi, or fantasy adventure. Summer is when everything goes down. This is the season that everyone looks forward to. The one where anime of the year is likely to sprout. The next classic will rise, and no one wants to miss it. And since it's summer, more people have the time to watch anime, so the usual amount of anime that airs each season, which is roughly 45, will be doubled. Not only that, but the summer season will have a good amount of series that are confirmed to have over 12 episodes. This smoothly transitions into the fall season. You have the leftover hype from the summer, couple of darker anime, and very few anime films. Yeah, take that agenda I just gave you and throw it out the window, cause those times are gone. My friend Jojo Talks Too Much made a video on the seasonal anime burnout. He mentions how much fun it is to be part of the hype discussions on the latest anime, but also tiring to keep up with everything. I made a video a few months back on how anime took over the world in 2017 alone, but the one thing I didn't realize was how fast it was happening. Last year we got sequel announcements like there was no tomorrow, and more anime getting confirmed for 24 episodes. As for this year, Netflix has completely disturbed the seasonal anime schedule. I kid you not. Every single week they release a new anime series or film that everyone has to watch in order to stay relevant. All the while the regular seasonal anime are airing. The spring 2018 season is airing 75 series, and it just keeps growing. Oh uh, what, you think I'm done? No, 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 my friend. Let's bring it back to the winter 2018 season. Now earlier I said that winter is the calm season. Because of this, we usually have the time to go through our backlog. You know, watch some of the series you've had on your ever-increasing must-watch list. Well, screw that, because there's a lot of anime people are talking about this season. Of course, we all have our different opinions on what's considered anime of the season, but most of us usually have a pretty good idea as to what that anime is. Yeah, not this time. Darling in the Frank, Violet Evergarden, Pop Team Epic, Devilman Crybaby, and Dragon Ball Super. All five of these series are considered to be the most popular anime airing, so if you want to stay current, then you better be keeping up with the latest episode to all of these series. <laughs> Piece of cake! I already have no life! Oh, really? then I guess you do have enough time to watch the latest episode to all 75 anime airing next season, plus the OVAs, Netflix anime, and films. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that's right. Otaku are automatically considered to be gamers, right? So this means you haven't fallen behind on Danganronpa V3, Doki Doki Literature Club, Ni no Kuni, or are forever stuck on the final mission of Persona 5. Wait. Buddy, do you want me to bring up manga next? Because I don't think you want me to bring up manga. Or light novels. As you can see, there are way too many anime to keep up with anymore. Seasonal top 10 must-watch anime videos are pretty much irrelevant when just about every series is a must-watch. You always gotta be on the lookout for the hidden gem and never miss the bombastic sequels. Of course, I love anime. Heck, I have this channel to prove it. But after the first three to six weeks of a season, I start dropping anime even if it's good. I just get a headache from all of this. I have work. I want to see the latest movies. I gotta prepare for my next video, play Fate Grin Order, go to cosplay photo shoots, and anime conventions. As an otaku of five years, there's still a good amount of anime series that I have yet to finish or even start. But why are there so many anime airing all of a sudden? If you've seen my How Anime Took Over the World video and Anime Fans Around the World series, then the answer should be obvious. Numerous of companies like Netflix and Amazon have recognized the booming popularity of anime. 
And anime studios know it as well. If they didn't, we wouldn't have anime directors or say you come to conventions in a variety of countries. So in a way, you could say that the sudden burst of series is a good thing. The world is way more accepting of anime, and people who think anime is stupid are the real weirdos. But it's also exhausting. I'm sure you've read the news articles on how there are very little animators, and how those very animators are dying from overworking themselves. Not just the animators, but also the seiyuu and the mangaka going on hiatus due to some sort of back-breaking injury. Anime is fun to make, I'm sure, and I'm even more sure that the people involved love and appreciate all the viewers that watch their series. But we're only human. I can only watch so many anime, and they can only make so many series. There has been a rise in new anime studios, so let's hope that there are more animators. This video went a little all over the place, but let me know if you're burnt out on all the anime we've been getting. If you can, please donate to my Patreon, link in the description. Plus, check out my social media, especially my Instagram for cosplay. And subscribe to my second channel for lifestyle videos. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.